Good afternoon, guys. Hi, your lunch, all of you. Yes, sir. Good. So today we will discuss about the Rankine cycle. I told you Rankine cycle is the most important. As you have learned the Brayton cycle in the previous chapter, this chapter we will be learning about the Rankine cycle. Okay. So if you understand Rankine cycle very well, the problems would be very very easy. Okay. So let's uh, first discuss the difference between the Carnot cycle and the Rankine cycle. In the Carnot cycle, there was a compressor. If you have noticed this end, but here it is just a pump. Here there is no compressor. There was only a boiler in case of a Carnot cycle. Here it is. The replace comes for an economizer and a superheater. Rest all that remains same. And how exactly it works? We will get to know one by one. So this is the PV and the TS diagram of the Rankine cycle. So three to four, which is this and this. Here, what happens is the pumping action takes place where the pressure gets increased. So this is just P here. So in these two operations, what happens? The pumping gets happened, and the pressure increases from state three to state four. From state 4 to state 1, it is complete heat addition process. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 and 3. So all these 3 are the heat addition process. So 3 heat addition process are there. Why these are 3 different in nature? Because 1 in the heat addition process, you are heating the liquid. In the second heating process, you are transforming the liquid to vapor. In the third heating process, you are heating the vapor to a higher temperature, which is known as superheater. Let me repeat it. First, you are heating the liquid in the economizer. Second, you are transforming the liquid to vapor in the boiler. Later, you are heating the vapor in the superheater. So all these three heating phases are described from 4 to A, A to B, and B to 1 like this. Clear? Understood? Three heating processes, not only one three different processes okay okay can anyone just read this process one to two what happens now why he is talking about process one to two which is nothing but isentropic isentropic expansion constant entropy expansion adiabatic expansion in the turbine okay yes anyone voluntarily would come up to read the process one to two. Muhammad Khalid. Yes, sir. Yes. Process one to two. Adiabatic reversible expansion through the turbine. The exhaust vapor at the end of the Okay, dear. Let me let me. Okay, okay, now, now. See here, see here. So, where is my state one? Anyone? Where is my state one? Both in PV and TS diagram. Where is my state one? In which region it is? Super heated. Everyone shut involvement. When you involve in this class, no. This class is so much important. If you learn this class very well, all the problems are so easy in this chapter. Okay. So, please do involve in this. Yes. Where is my state 1? In which region? Superheated. Super so, it is in the superheated region. So, expansion. Now, where is my state 2? Where is my state 2? Where is my state 2? Water region. It is in a wet region, isn't it? Now, so if there is a turbine like this, if there is a turbine, in this turbine, inlet would be what? Inlet would be a superheated steam, can I say? Yes? Yes. And outlet would be what? In a wet region, correct? 
outlet of the turbine so inlet would be of superheated state that, that means the turbine expands from superheated state till it reaches the wet state and how will you calculate the turbine work output how will you calculate the turbine work output one way you have already learned it as mcp delta t in the previous class in the previous uh, chapter now from now on what you have to use is you have to use the value of enthalpy what you have to use you have to use enthalpy for work it is initial minus final or it is final minus initial guys for work calculation initial minus final it is initial minus final that means in the turbine it is moving from state 1 to state 2 so initial is state 1 final is state 2 how will you calculate the work done in the turbine initial minus final initial is 1 final is 2 how will you calculate the work done there for the turbine mcp t1 minus t2 yes that is also correct mcp t1 minus t2 is also correct now i must talk in terms of enthalpy if i talk in terms of enthalpy there is no mcp nothing sort it is just simply h1 minus of h2 initial minus final heat content initial minus heat content final that's it this is how you calculate the work done in case of a rankine cycle clear any doubts here clear sir now let us have this exercise anyone uh, where does the pumping action takes place in the rankine cycle in which process 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 or which one 3 to 4 3 to 4 now can anyone give me how do i calculate the value of the pumping work anyone anyone xf plus uh... Yes. HF plus H HFC. Eh hey, no, 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 wet region, no. Hmm. That HF. is a different story. That is a different story. You are talking about the different thing. You are calculating enthalpy at an individual state. That is not my concern. Now I want to calculate the value of pumping work. Pumping work happens from three to four. I told you for. uh ranka in cycle how do you calculate it is difference in the enthalpy for work it is initial minus final initial state is 3 and the final state is 4 now can you give me the value of pumping work how do i calculate h3 minus h4 simple very good so it is just h3 minus of h4 that's it So initial state is three, final state is four. For work, it is initial minus final. So it is just H three minus of H four. The beautiful thing about this is all we deal in terms of enthalpy. That is why the problems on this Rankine cycle becomes very very easy. Now even you can calculate the heat flow also. Now heat you are adding in three different uh, aspects. I told you right. I told you the heat is being added in three different aspects. okay what are the three different equipments the first equipment where you add the heat is economizer am i right second heat you are adding in where you are adding in the boiler correct now third heat you are adding in where you are adding in a super heater super heater okay so q economizer can i write it as q 4 to a correct heat added in the process 4 to a now q boiler can i write it as q a to b and q super heater can i write it as q b to 1 yes or no yes sir yes sir correct now 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 see this beauty see see this okay after this what happens now now i want to calculate what is the q heat added in the economizer that is from just 4 to a okay i told you everything is in the difference of enthalpy for heat it is final minus initial here the final state is a state and initial state is the 
so how will you calculate heat added in economizer which is 4 to a anyone just try just try for so heat final minus initial he, for heat it is final minus initial so final state is a that is h a initial state is what h4 got it yes sir got it now can anyone tell me how do i calculate heat added in the boiler final state is b initial state is a here hb minus ha excellent it is hb minus of ha now can anyone tell me how do i calculate heat added in superheater h1 minus hb h1 minus of hb very good excellent now can anyone tell me how do i calculate work done in the turbine H two minus H one. Oh, for work it is initial H1. minus final. Ah, final minus H1. initial. Ah, initial minus final. Ah, so it is work done in the turbine is what? H one minus H two. Very good. H one minus of H two. Can uh, anyone tell me how do I calculate the pumping work? H three minus H two. Initial minus final, so it is H three minus H four. Now, can anyone tell me what is the heat lost in the condenser? So, condenser process happens from state two to three. For heat, it is final minus initial. So, how to calculate the heat lost in the condenser? Anyone? H three minus H two. Excellent, excellent. So, you have completed the whole chapter, guys. That's it. Only this is there in this chapter. Rest all is just manipulations of these concepts. Have you learned these concepts? Whatever I told you till now, understood these concepts? Any doubts? Yes, sir. Hmm. Because if you understand this, no, everything else is just addition to these concepts. That's it. Any doubts in these concepts? Whatever I have discussed till now. Any doubts? Please let me know. No, sir. Okay. Shall we have the quick revision of these concepts? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you, be ready. Okay. So let us see who answers it first. Okay. What is the work obtained by the pump? Pumping work. How do you calculate pumping work? H three minus H four. H three minus H four. Very good. So, how do you calculate heat added in the boiler? H three minus H two. How do you calculate heat added? In the boiler, H B minus H B minus H A. H B minus H A. H B minus H A. Very good, lucky, Shushan. Very good, very good. Now, how do you calculate the work obtained by the turbine? H three minus H four. No, no, no. H two minus H one. Oh, H one minus H two. Lucky. H two minus H one. Na H one minus H two. Na H one minus H one. H one minus huh? H two. Wow, why it is H one minus H two? Work. Work because work is initial minus final. Now next next question. How do you calculate the heat added during superheating? H B minus H one. Hey. H one minus H three. H one minus H three. Heat. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, next. How do you calculate the heat lost in the condenser? 
H3 minus H2. Excellent. It is H3 minus H2. Now, how do you calculate the heat added during economization? H A minus H4. H A minus H4. Very good, guys. Very good. Very good. You have learned beautiful concepts now. Can anyone just read this? This is done. Now, two to three. Anyone? Two to three. Two to three. A two phase mixture is being converted into saturated liquid yes, at state three. Exactly. So, what is state oh. three? Just, just a minute. What is state oh. three? Observe here. So, this is the state three. Where is the state three? It is on the saturated liquid line. That is why in the condenser, what happens? A liquid plus vapor mixture is being converted until where? Until it reaches the saturated liquid. Clear? Next one. Sir, I can't read that. Is it true? <laughs> through constant pressure and constant yeah, yeah, temperature, heat rejection in the condenser. So it is also a constant pressure. If you can observe here, also it is constant temperature, heat rejection in case of the condenser. So how do you calculate heat rejected in the condenser? I told you it is how much? Heat rejected in the condenser is? H3 minus H2. H3 H3 minus H2. 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 Next. Pumping work, guys. Pumping work. Huh? 3 to 4 now. 3 to 4. Anyone? 3 to 4. The pump is used to compress the saturated liquid. Mm. From 3 uh, to 4. 3 to 4. Adiabatically. Uh, what do you mean by adiabatically, Sohan? What do you mean by adiabatically? Adiabatic. Uh, what does it mean? Adiabatically in the sense, what you are making constant that? Uh, entropy. Very good. So you are keeping entropy as a constant and raising its pressure from 3 to 4 here like this. Very good. Next, 4 to 1, guys. 4 to 1. Anyone? Lucky? Yeah. Heat has been added in three stages. First three one stages. Is in... Okay. Yeah. Without looking at the next coming notes, can you say me what how the heat is being added in the three stages? Lucky? Without looking into the notes. I have not even shown you the notes till now. Can you say me? At least anyone could say me that. I would be very, very happy if you say me. O to B, B to A. Yes. 4 to A, where Ekonom. the heat is added? Economizer. Economizer. In the economizer, see, this is all, it is the liquid region. This is all the liquid plus vapor region. This is all the superheated region. Now, in the economizer, just the water is being heated to raise its temperature till A. Do you think in the economizer, the phase change happens? No. Yes, everyone? Can you tell me what economizer actually means? Economizer, yenu yatta anta nirigi amal gota gatte. Economizer, yi vaganodu. Just to think, yi ga gas stove irutta la, athara moor stove idhe. Okay, na? One stove valli, one stove is known as economizer, Second stove is known as boiler and third stove is known as the superheater. You are heating the liquid or you are heating the uh, liquid to change its to vapor stage by stage, one after the other. So first you are heating in the economizer, second you are heating in the boiler, third you are heating in the superheater. You will be shocked to know all these three, economizer, boiler and superheater are just tubes. That's it. Nothing else. You will get to know how exactly it works. Okay, don't worry about it. Just understand what I say now. Rakesh, clear? 
ನಾನೆಲ್ಲ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲರ್ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆನಾ ಈಗ ನೋಡಿ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಯ್ತು ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಎಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಎ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಡಿ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ನೋ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನೋ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ನಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಯ್ಲರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ stage by stage stage by stage stage by stage stage by stage it reaches saturated vapor correct do you think the phase is gonna changing here in case of a boiler no it will change and the boiler it will change after crossing boiler it will change sir yes exactly so once in the economizer see just understand these things while it is moving in the economizer no phase change but once it has enter the boiler it starts to change its phase and become more and more drier more and more drier more and more drier more and more dry 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 and then reach the vapor state at the end getting my point that means from a to b it is continuously changing its phase understood yes now now the one more thing you have to observe yes i told you from state a to b it is continuously changing its phase from the figure it is very much clear that during state a to b transformation from a to b in the boiler does the temperature change no no sir no understand so temperature so phase change happens keeping the temperature constant here the temperature rises keeping the phase constant see the beauty of this understood yes sir now in the same way once at the state b where it has reached the saturated vapor line where it has reached the saturated vapor line at the state b now it is 100% vapor now the entire liquid is being converted into 100% percent vapor now from now on if you heat the things up what happens its temperature will keep on rising correct will keep on rising to reach a superheated state now in this case also the temperature is raised continuously again the phase change happens here no no phase change so 4 to a and b to 1 are two process that happens in economizer and superheater where there is no change in phase but only there is an increase in temperature parallax to that in the boiler there is change in the phase but there is no change in temperature understood everyone any doubts yes sir no sir good good guys good okay now let us come back to here and see all these guys whatever i have explained you it has been listed very clearly this this is my handwritten notes man it is ugly but very useful okay my handwriting is not so good i know that but yet yeah. okay just to go through one by one guys i request every one of you to read every sentence what i have written here it is very very important if you have any doubts while reading this please let me know okay once you have read all this please give me a message in the chat box that i have understood
Good. 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 Okay, guys. Very good. So let us move forward now. Okay. So now we will calculate the value of the network done. So how will you calculate the value of network done? So the total heat workflow is equal to the total heat flow according to the first law of thermodynamics. Now, what is total heat, uh, heat flow? It is heat supplied plus heat rejected. Where you are supplying heat? You are supplying heat from 4 to 1. Where you are rejecting heat? You are rejecting it from 2 to 3. Okay, so when I consider 4 to 2, 4 to 1 as a whole process, so how will you calculate the value of QS in terms of enthalpies? Anyone? When I consider 4 to 1 as a whole process, only one process. H1 minus H4. Excellent. So it is H1 minus of H4. Now, how will you calculate the heat rejected? Heat rejected will take place in the condenser, which is this. How will you calculate heat rejected? H3 minus H2. H2 Excellent. H2. Oh, who is that? H2 minus H3. Oh, sir, Correct, Aita. Correct, Mark Kodi. But you have to see once you participate, you will get to know the things. For heat, it is final minus initial. So it is H3 minus of H2. This is how you calculate the heat rejected. So same thing, you will be QS H3 minus H2, QR H1 minus H4. H1 minus H4 na ulta bar konde dene H4 minus H1 then you will add a minus sign here. Okay. For any cycle, it respective it might it might be diesel cycle, it might be Breton cycle. Now in this case it is Rankine cycle. How will you calculate your thermal efficiency, guys? Anyone? Same procedure again, no difference. How will you calculate thermal efficiency by the way? Anyone? Energy supplied. It is output by input, isn't it? So network yes, yes. done divided by heat supplied. Network done you already have here. Heat supplied is what? Heat supplied is H3 minus of H2. Okay. Now, if I just uh, supply this denominator to both the numerators, this will get cancelled and this will attach here. Okay. So this is the efficiency of the Riken cycle. Clear with this? Understood? Now, even this particular work ratio already came across in case of a Breton cycle. Can anyone see me? How do you calculate the work ratio? How do you calculate the work ratio? Already you have solved good number of problems on work ratio. How do you calculate it? In the Breton cycle. Network done by positive work. So it is network or the total work done divided by amount of positive work. So same thing here, positive work in the sense, which work here? Out of two works, you have two works here. One is pumping work, other one is turbine work. So which one is the positive work here? Turbine. In case, turbine work. So turbine work takes place from one to two. For work, it is initial minus final, one to two. Therefore, it is H1 minus of H2, which I have written here. This is how you calculate your work ratio. Any doubts here, guys? Any doubts? Mm. So, there might be a question in your examination with the lead labeling diagram, schematic diagram, explain the rank and cycle and hence derive its thermal efficiency, network done or work ratio. You can just write these things up and it will be done. Any doubts here? Let me know now. Any doubts? Any doubts? Positive work done. Positive work done. So, total agi yerado work kide. One, there is a pumping work. Second, there is a turbine work. So, this is WT and this is WP. Okay. What do you mean by positive work? Positive work is something. Ninage other in the laba aguantadu. Ninage other in the work baruantadu. Ega pump run madavakandre. Pump in the Namag work Burata, at one now pump a mela work mardbeka. Other Nagi. 
ನಾವು ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನೋ whether you get work output or you need to work on the system whether that is giving you work or you are giving work to turbine we are getting work we are getting work so it is a positive work artha aita so ee veradralli positive work yavudu hagadre turbine work turbine turbine clear aita rakesh any other doubts okay. any other doubts okay okay shall we move further okay next is comparison is super agide nodi idu comparison iga so what you are comparing is you are comparing the carnot cycle and the rankine cycle i told you the carnot cycle is a idealistic form of a cycle and the rank and cycle is more practical form of a cycle so whatever is highlighted in the blue color in the ts diagram without the dash 1 2 3 and 4 that is the carnot cycle yes and whatever i have highlighted in the black color 1 dash 2 dash and with the dash of course 3 dash 4 dash again 1 dash that is the rank and cycle understood the comparison between the carnot cycle and the rankine cycle yes sir no can anyone just read this um yeah look at you srijan yes sir ah srijan idu nodu nodwa for same maximum yes. for same maximum and minimum temperature rankine cycle says no. lower efficiency Low than efficiency. that of then that, that of car current cycle this is because this is because heat ejected in carnot cycle is less less when compared with the rankine cycle that is what so if you observe the heat rejected here okay now i will just zoom in so in the carnot cycle heat rejected is still under ill in the illi aste matra so this length is the heat rejected in case of a carnot cycle now when you go for a rankine cycle this much amount of heat is being rejected in case of a rankine cycle so which one is more rankine heat rejection is more or carnot heat rejection is more rankine rankine so rankine so if the heat rejection is more ninna system sum sumne heat horage hakta idre do you think the efficiency could be better no no sir so definitely the efficiency will come down so that is what he is telling next next point do i have yes ha ah, same 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 uh anyone the same maximum and minimum temperature for the same maximum and minimum temperature rankin cycle has higher specific work output when than the carnot cycle so when i compare the work output work output elli compare madodu where will i get the work output where will i get the work output anyone work output elli very good so 1 to 10 inda nanage work output sigtade so carnot alli work output ishtide nange so this is the work output in case of a carnot when i when i discuss when i try to plot for a rankine cycle the work output is this much so which one is higher rankine rankine rank so efficiency compare madidra which one is more efficient carnot or rankine carnot carnot, carnot. carnot. so when i talk about the work output which one gives us the maximum work output carnot or rankine rankine rankine, rankine. that's it okay cut cut very good <laughs> next the compression of the wet vapor from 3 to 4 is very difficult and large in case of carnot cycle but pumping the saturated liquid 
from 3 dash to 4 dash is easy and small in case of rank and cycle. Next difference is the pumping work. So, first to know in Madana, car not cycle begin Matana. Car not cycle pumping work at the compressor work in the Ligate. It happens from 3 to 4. Now, can anyone say me in case of a car not cycle, what exactly you are compressing there? What exactly you are compressing? So look at this uh, regions. So this is the liquid region. Liquid region. Okay. And this is the uh, which region? Liquid plus vapor region. Liquid plus vapor. Right. This is liquid plus vapor region. So what exactly you are compressing here in case of a Carnot cycle? Wait, 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 wait. Wet and vapor region. That's what. So you are com you are compressing here both liquid plus vapor. That too. Look at the difference. Look at the compressor levels. You are from here to here. You are compressing the things. That too. Liquid plus vapor. Compressing liquid is easy. Compressing vapor is easy. But compressing liquid plus vapor together is difficult. That too. At a higher pressure level, is difficult task. Now come for the rank kind now. In the Rankine cycle, the compressor is being replaced by pump. So you are only pumping from 3 dash to 4 dash. By the way, what you are pumping? Liquid. liquid. Only liquid you are pumping. So you, if you just, whatever the motor you use in your house to lift your water to your overhead tank, that is more than sufficient to run your Rankine cycle. Yes, sir, no? got the comparison between? Uh, the pumping actions or the compressor actions for the both Carnot and Rankine cycle, everyone? Yes, sir. So, in case of Carnot cycle, what you are pumping or compressing? You are compressing liquid plus vapor. In case of a Rankine cycle, you are just compressing liquid there. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So, which one uh, requires high pressure pumping or compressor? Rankine or Carnot? Carnot. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. Last point. Last point is easy, I guess. Can anyone just read this? It is added in three stages. Hmm. Rankin cycle. That is an economizer. Economizer. Yes. It is added in similar stage in Carnot cycle. That is only in the boiler. That is only in a boiler. I think this uh, point is self-explanatory. Yes? Understood this point, everyone? In case of a Carnot cycle, what is happening? You are adding heat only in the boiler. That is 4 to 1. In only one stage. But in case of the Rankine cycle, which is in black color, you are adding heat in economizer. You are adding heat in boiler. You are adding heat in superheater. Thereby... We are adding heat in three different stages. Understood the difference between the Carnot and Rankine cycle, everyone? Yes, yes sir. sir. Any doubts, guys? No, sir. So just look at these figures, guys. It will give you a clear idea how uh, the which cycle is better and where. Okay. So these two figures will give you the comparison between the Carnot and Rankine cycle against against the different values of efficiencies against the boiler pressure. Okay. Sir, where do we use these applications, sir? Carnot cycle and Rankine cycle. Uh, Rakesh, in hello. Where do we Carnot cycle and Rankine cycle? So, how do we use them? How do we use them? How do we use them? Carnot cycle lo, i jagat talle yellu use mado dilla. It is most Efficient cycle, idealistic form of cycle. Adan achieve mada do tumba kasta. Hagagi Carnot cycle na vilu use mado de illa. Yella thermal power plants de. Iga Udupi alli ondo thermal power plant de. KPTC alli de. All over India, to all over globe, all thermal power plants de wala. Coal use madi power na generate mado anta plants. Andre coal use madi, coal burn madi, water na vapor a convert madi. A vapor thondo ki turbine ha ki turbine atteriksi. Other than generate connect my power generate Martarola. Ali yella plant alo, yella power plant alo. 
ಇದೇ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ನೇ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಇವನ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಜಿಂದಾಲ್ ನೋ ಐ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ಸ್ ಇವನ್ ದಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ ಮುಂದೆ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರು ಅಥವಾ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಒಂದು ಕಂಪನಿ ಬಂತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಡ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಸೊ ಉಳಿಕಿದ್ದು ದ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ನಾಳೆ ಮಾಡುವ ತುಂಬಾ ಮದ್ವೆ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ತೂಗುಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀರಾ ಈಗ ಬೇಡ ನಾಳೆ ಮಾಡುವ ಇದನ್ನು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಯುರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗೂಗಲ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋ ಸ್ಟೇ ಇಯರ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ಟಡಿ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಡನ್ ಅಂತ ಹಾಕಿ ಸಾಕು